Hi everyone, this is Charlie Baluti. Welcome to the program Cross Pass. This year we had our second annual walk for Karen Baluti. The event was held at Cold State Park. Karen died two years ago from colon cancer. And if you knew Karen, she was a beautiful person who always uh, helped out other people. She worked for Brooks Pharmacy for many years as district manager and she won many awards in her career. This year again, Brooks Pharmacy will be sponsoring the walk with all of the proceeds going to Make-A-Wish of Rhode Island. Karen was an inspiration for us. Her memory will live in our hearts forever. Here then is the walk for Karen Berluti. This is uh, Charlie Baluti, and I'm with my daughter Kate Mahoney and Cal, and uh, we're here at the Karen Berluti first walk here, second walk actually. Uh -huh. Kate, what do you think of the day? It is a beautiful day. It's perfect out. Another perfect day, just like last year. Karen's watching over us. <laughs> and Kate, you're taking care of the uh, games today, huh? Yep. Uh, activities. What kind of games do we have today? Oh, all sorts of fun stuff. We're doing um, arts and crafts. We're doing um, sack races, three-legged races, uh, egg tosses, fun stuff like that. Okay, Cal, what do you think of today? Um, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it's a wonderful day, isn't it? Yeah. Are you glad to be here? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, Kate, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm with uh, Jerry uh, Tranzu uh, from Brooks Pharmacy, and Jerry, uh, what do you think of the walk today? I think this is going to be better than last year. Uh, we've got uh, Johnson & Whale participating, we've got the National Guard that we didn't have last year that we have here for the kids, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a great family day. I think it is too, and the weather is cooperating with us, it's going to be beautiful. And uh, people are real excited out here. Uh, I want to ask you, Jerry, since uh, you knew Karen so well, could you share a memory with us about Karen? Nobody could say no to her. And she would do things that nobody knew about and never take credit for it. And um, at the end, we all found out how, what a wonderful person she was. Uh, she was a friend of mine for over 25 years. And uh, despite her illness, she never gave up and she always had hope. And uh, Make-A-Wish is her favorite foundation, and these kids need hope, and that's what we're here for, in memory of Karen. Thank you, Jerry. Hi, I'm with uh, Colleen Kenahan and Jean Duvall, and uh, they're both co-chairs of the Karen Baluti uh, second walk for uh, Make-A-Wish of Rhode Island. Uh, Colleen, you and Jean have been doing a great job, and... Uh, how do you think the crowd is here today? It's going to be another fabulous day. So, yes, expecting a huge turnout. And so far, everybody's here. That's great. And, Gene, I see you've been uh, rushing around a bit trying to get uh, things organized. And uh, I see we have some college students. Do you know anything about them? Yeah, actually, we had uh, Johnson & Wales students uh, volunteer this year to help out. And there's about 120 of them here today. So they're out playing, helping us set up, and doing a great job. here with uh, Art Baluti from uh, WADK, one of the best announcers they have there. And Art, uh, I'm going to ask you, uh, I know Karen was close to you, and Karen really liked you a lot, being cousins. Could, could you give us a little story about Karen, if you would? Sure, Uncle Charlie. I would probably say, um, as you know, a few years ago, I went through my own cancer experience, and at that time, when I was going through my treatments and what have you, um, Karen was really having a bad time with hers and every time we talked or wrote or emailed it was always how are you doing how are you doing you know it was it was all it always seemed to be about somebody else it was all about me it was nothing about her 
you know, as tough of a time as she was having. And um, just, I, I just, I just think that would give everybody an idea of really what a selfless person she was. She was really, really special. And um, she sent us another beautiful day. So you're right. Uh, she, she has sent us a great day. Yeah. And Look, looking forward to it. And. Uh, <laughs> I'm with uh, Diana Hackney, who is the CEO and also the president of Make-A-Wish of Rhode Island. And uh, I'm so glad to have you here for the walk for Karen. This, as you know, this is our second year. It is. And um, let me start out by saying it's a great job to have and work at the um, Make-A-Wish Foundation of Rhode Island. And one of the privileges I have is coming out to events that support the, our chapter. And this is one of our favorites. Yes, it's our second year. And you picked exactly a wonderful, beautiful day again. I don't think we picked it out. I think Karen's kind of watching out over us. This is a second day that uh, the good Lord and uh, perhaps Karen intervened to give us a day like today because it rained yesterday and the weather the forecast is saying it's going to rain tomorrow. But I just want to say it's a wonderful thing you're doing uh, with all the children with uh, life-threatening illnesses and uh, it's, it's such a great job. Uh, uh, what you tell the people out there, uh, you know, how they could get involved if they wanted to? Uh, I sure can. Um, we have a sound bite that we say, share the power of the wish, and there's many ways to do that. You can volunteer, um, and our volunteer positions are everything from, it's not a simple job, because working in the office, there are tasks that um, need to be done that lead to even greater things. Mailings that reach out to our donors, that help with medical outreach. You could become a wish granter, which really uh, works directly with the wish child and family. You can become a fundraiser. Um, you can come in and help us as we organize things in the office and offer suggestions as we grow as a chapter. So having our volunteers, we have five paid staff people and over 200 volunteers is really how we get the work done for the Rhode Island children. Thank you, Diane. Hi, I'm with uh, Don Kenny, who is a group vice president of Brooks Pharmacy of New England. Right. Thanks, Mr. Baluti. It's great to be here. Uh, we're very uh, proud to be to sponsor this uh, event with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, this is uh, the second year, and uh, we have a great crowd here today, and uh, looking forward to uh, a good day here. And we have a great uh, day weather-wise for the second time. Uh, wonderful day. Wonderful day. And um, just want to make a couple of comments about Karen Baluti. Karen worked for me for many years, was with the company for about 20 years. She did a fantastic job for us. She was a great leader of people. Uh, she knew how to motivate people. She knew how to train people. And um, she loved um, working with people. She loved children, hence her uh, favorite uh, foundation, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And uh, she loved people in general. And uh, we're very proud to be part of this. Well, Don, I just want to say thank you from uh, our family, the Berluti family, to you and the, the Brooks Foundation for helping us out. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate all that you have done, especially in corporate and the other offices, uh, with uh, gathering donations from Make-A-Wish of Rhode Island. And again, thank you so much. Well, thank you. We're proud to be part of this. Thanks a lot. I'm with Ernie Frizzell from the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation of Rhode Island, and Ernie, it's nice to have you here. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. We appreciate very much the, uh, the event. This is amazing. We just had Dr. Diana down here, and she told us a little bit about uh, Make-A-Wish and uh, what a good organization you have. And uh, would you like to add a little bit to that? Um, I, I don't know that I could add anything to what Diana said, but from my perspective, uh, the Make-A-Wish is, is probably one of the most amazing charities I've ever been involved with for a couple reasons. One, it's, uh, it's all about kids, you know, which is a pretty special thing, and it's all about local kids. 
So when we raise money and, and people donate money, they know that they're helping their neighbors and people in the local community, which uh, is kind of something a little special about that, you know. And the fact we're able to, to help out some of these kids that have just awful illnesses and are fighting battles that they really shouldn't be. They should be out running around, but that's not the case. So if we can put a smile on their face, then uh, there's nothing like that in the world. It's a great thing. Ernie, tell, uh, let me ask you, what do you think about the walk today? Uh, it's my first time here, and I, I'll be honest with you. I, I do a few events myself and nothing to this magnitude. I'm, I'm very impressed. This is amazing to get this kind of turnout and to be this well organized. It's, it's, it's really, it's, I'm almost speechless. Well, we, had a, we have a couple of great uh, chair people in uh, Gene and Colleen. And also, uh, as you might know, well know by looking around, uh, our daughter Karen was so well liked. Uh, Apparently. Yeah, she uh, she was very modest and uh, she achieved a lot, but she never told people what she achieved. Matter of fact, uh, we found many awards in a box under her desk that we never knew about until she passed away. She just wanted not to share them with us. Sure. She's not like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know that that's, but you know, there's uh, some people are like that, that they get the greatest satisfaction just internally knowing that they're doing a great thing and, and clearly her involvement with the Make-A-Wish is a, is a wonderful thing so so it sounds like she was an amazing person. She was and I'd like to thank you Ernie for being on. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, Ernie. I'm with uh, my son Chris Berluti and uh, uh, of course Karen's brother. Chris uh, let me ask you, you, you grew up in our family and Karen was your older sister. Do you have uh, any memory of growing up in our house with Karen? Yeah, growing up with Karen was great because she was always looking out for, for everybody. I mean, especially myself and Kate. Um, she was three years older than us, so she knew some of the pitfalls of, you know, what might happen. And she always had a good story or you could always go to her with questions and you know, she could, uh, she could give us advice without telling mom or dad, which was great. And um, she was just an all, all around great person to, to grow up with and had a great heart. So. Thank you, Chris. So with that, folks, uh, I am going to uh, bring on our next speaker, who I believe is uh, Don Kenny. So Don, come on up here. And thank you all so much for coming. Thank you, Mr. Bellotti. Uh, thank uh, all of you for coming today. This is a great turnout. This makes us all happy uh, in memory of uh, Karen Bellotti, a uh, great lady. Uh, on behalf of Brooks Pharmacy and all of our employees, um, we are very, very proud to be here. And we're proud to co-sponsor this event with Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, this is the second year, as Mr. Baluti mentioned, and we're really proud to be part of this. Um, Karen is someone that uh, uh, really cared about people. She really cared about children. So this is really befitting that uh, we do this in her honor along with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, Karen worked for us for many years. Uh, she was a very integral part of our organization. Uh, she was an excellent supervisor. She was an excellent leader of uh, people and um, really knew how to uh, get things done, as Mr. Baluti mentioned. She really knew how to rally the troops. Uh, she did a lot in her community, but not just in her community, but also in the communities that our stores were in. If uh, someone had a house fire, and they needed help, she would rally the troops, she would raise money, she would get clothes, whatever had to be done to take care of that person. A very caring person. We miss her a lot. Um, I never I never go into one of her stores or meet one of her managers that I'm not reminded of what a great person she was. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Don. That was a very moving speech. Thank you so much. Our next person we'd like to bring on is Dr. Diana Heckley. Diana, uh, she's uh, president and CEO of Make-A-Wish of Rhode Island. Diana? Thank you very much. Um, 
it's hard to follow when um, you start having those memories of Karen because, um, you know, it, it's a lot of love. And that's a, a wonderful thing that I, I want to express to all of you. When they first came to us and told us that they were going to do this walk in honor of Karen, that meant a lot to us because the chapter is about a lot of love and sometimes the ups and downs of life. Um, very vibrant and caring like Karen was, so we felt it was a perfect match. So today means a lot to our chapter, and I have um, two guests here today that I want you to hear from. Um, one is one of our board members who's going to speak first, and then you have a, a privilege today of meeting one of our WISH children who benefited with her WISH uh, a little while ago. So I'm first going to introduce you to a dedicated leadership volunteer who has his daughter with him today. He's headed to another event tonight. It means a lot to the foundation that we have great board members. And so please to hear a few words, um, Ernie Frizzle. Um, thank you very much, Diane, and thank you to everybody for being here. Um, this is the first time I've been here, and I'm absolutely amazed at the turnout. Uh, thank you. Um, all I wanted to really share with you guys today is just a couple of numbers, just to kind of see where all your efforts are, are really going. And uh, I guess we got some national numbers, and about every 40 minutes, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, we grant a wish to some deserving child you know, throughout the country. And uh, this year, from a Rhode Island perspective, it's our 15th year of granting wishes, which is an amazing feat. And we're about to grant our 800th wish. So thanks to people like you, there's 800 kids out there that have gone someplace special. <laughs> and to, to kind of put that into context, 400 of those wishes have come in the last four years. So we're a growing, hello? Hello? Did I turn something? that better? Anyway, so 400 have come in the last four years. And from what, uh, what the CDC tells us is there's actually still more kids out there that we're not reaching. So we're doing our best. You know, our goal is to grant wishes to kids with life-threatening illnesses. Um, and our goal of the, the foundation is to make sure we never, ever have to say no to any of those kids. And uh, fortunately, with people like you, we're able to raise that money and, uh, and grant wishes. So thank you very much for coming out. We really appreciate it. And uh, now to give you a little more idea of, you know, where your money directly goes. Lena, you want to come up and uh, this is one of our WISH children, and I'd like uh, her to tell you a little bit about her WISH. Okay. My name is Lena Antonio, and I was born with a heart deformity. Um, I was born with three chambers of my heart, and I was missing my left ventricle. And I was born without pulmonary arteries. Um, and I, my, I've had three surgeries. And my last surgery, um, the doctors told me that I had 15% chance of living. And I had to fly all the way to California for my surgery. And um, there was a lot of effort to get like the surgeon. And I was really nervous to get in. But before I went in, um, I talked to Make-A-Wish. And I really wanted to meet Gwen Stefani. And uh, she's like my idol. I love her so much. And um, I heard from them right before I went in. And they're like, oh, we're working on, our, on your wish. And I was so excited. And like, before I went in for surgery, like, I sat down, watched a movie with my mom. I watched Beauty and the Beast. And then I got rolled in. My mom was like, you know, probably when you get out, you'll be able to meet Gwen Stefani. And once I got out of surgery, um, I got a call from one of the people. And they said that we granted your wish. And they told me that they're, they were going to get me into Kiss 108 concert. And I met her at the concert, including I got free seats. And it was fifth row. And I was, like, the most excited person in the world. And I went backstage, and, like, I heard that she was excited to meet me. And, like, my the person who came with me to my wish was the most exciting person I've ever met. She was, like, so full of life. And um, when I went in, I like saw her, and I like I just started crying because I was so happy. And like the whole time I hung out with her, like 
for three hours straight. She held my hand. She, like, always hugged me. And she brought me to all her interviews. And I'm on the internet, too. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just amazing what they do. It's great. Um, like, that's, like, the second happiest day of my life. Meeting Gwen Stefani the first, obviously, is coming out of surgery live. <laughs> but um, when I met Gwen Stefani, like, I don't know, I was really happy, and I felt like my life was complete at that point. <laughs> she just made me feel really good. And now every day I wake up and I think, wow, I'm so thankful to be alive and that I know that the person that I love, that I met, thinks I'm a wonderful person. Okay, uh, Colleen, where are you? Colleen or Jean? Oh, Colleen, uh, you want to start the walk right now? Okay, what we're going to do is start parading up the hill to your right-hand side and just go up there.
You can see where this goes, the ball, the ball joints up uh, under it. Next is uh, Roger Williams Park Zoo for Pat Bell. Pat Dell. Pat Dell. Pat Dell and it's here. Come on down on the way so we'll put the ball in the back. <laughs> Next is a life is good gift basket, $150 value. There's two drawings for this pretty good prize. The first winner is Sheila Randall. The second winner of the gift basket is Randy Roman. Randy Romano. Jane Pickens Theater. Ron Charette, accessory basket. What are we saying? Oasis Salon and Spa. One, two, three. Kate Morrison. Kate Morrison. Oasis. I'd like to uh, just say, give a special thanks to everyone who worked and donated gifts and uh, walked in Karen's behalf. And uh, we hope to see you on Saturday, September 29th, 2007. And I also like to give a special thanks to Steve Reese, who shot our footage, and to Bob Poniatowski, who edited up this footage for us. Again, thank you and good night.